We are going to make a quick demonstration of our password management and session recording solution. Before starting the demonstration, I just want to give a quick information about our lab environment. We have different users like David, Lee, and uh, these, those, these users have different roles. We also have different resources like Windows servers, file wars, routers, Unix, Linux servers, and other devices. We also have different uh, user accounts with different privileges. So let's first look at uh, user David. David is a system administrator. He needs to run administrative tasks on WSTM machine, but the problem is his user account does not have administrator privileges on this machine. On the other hand, MDavis local uh, user account uh, has local administrator privileges on this machine. So what, what David needs is accessing to WSTM machine with privileges of MDavis local user account and complete his administrative tasks. User Lee is David's manager and he's responsible for controlling David's access to uh, WSTM machine and other resources. So what happens in a daily life is uh, David first initiates a password request. So in this password request, it's written that David wants to access to WSTM machine with privileges of MDavis local user. This request is forwarded to Lee. If Lee approves that uh, session, then uh, David will be access, will be uh, able to access to WS10 machine with privileges of MDavis local user account and complete his administrative tasks. So this is a single operational uh, cycle and this cycle may happen uh, several times or many times in a single day. We also have another user, Thomas. Thomas is information security administrator or auditor. He's responsible from uh, controlling the sessions and making sure that nothing violates the company's security uh, policies. And in our scenario also, he will uh, check the David's session, session records, and make sure that uh, there is nothing abnormal. So this was a, a quick information about uh, our lab environment. And now let's jump to the uh, demonstration. So uh, this is a web-based and self-service interface for uh, password requests and uh, we are logged in as David sysadmin so David wants to access to WS10 machine with in David's local account and uh, he clicks on this machine name and uh, he gives some details about his requests he wants to start immediately and he wants to access to an RDP session he also gives some details about his requests. I am going to apply updates. And then he submits requests. Okay. Now if we check the pending requests, we can see that there is one pending request which, is, which needs to be approved. Now we are logged in as Lee, the manager. Lee is David's manager. And uh, we can see that uh, Lee has a pending request. So requester name is David Sysadmin and he wants to access to this machine with this local, uh, with, with this local accounts uh, privileges. So Lee clicks on the request, checks the details of the requests. So he's going to approve these requests. So he also has some comments. So okay please submit a change request okay and he approves the requests so confirm approve okay now when we check his uh, pending request we see nothing and here is just one active request Now we are logged in as uh, David sysadmin again and uh, if we check our requests we can see that uh, we don't have any pending requests because it's already approved and we have one active request and this is the request that's approved by uh, Lee. So David clicks on this request. So he sees that uh, Lee approved his request. He also has some notes. And uh, he clicks on an open RDP session and uh, opens an RDP session to this machine. Mm -hmm. 
Now David is logged into WS10 machine. And of course we are not uh, going to uh, apply the updates here, but uh, let's assume that we already have uh, updated, uh, we already have applied the updates and we are going to create a text document on the desktop for the sake of demo. And uh, we will write some notes. So updates are downloaded. Updates are applied. Server rebooted. User added configuration changed and that's it and uh, David then uh, saved this text document yes and he logs up so his task is completed As a last step, we are going to log in as Thomas, who is Information Security Administrator. So, as we can see, we are logged in as Thomas. And uh, Thomas wants to see what David has done on WS10 machine. So, he comes to here, replay sessions. And uh, he can see that uh, recently there is a session. Uh, which is uh, requested by, by David uh, and uh, the request made for MDavis local account. So he wants to see the details of this session. He clicks on the session and plays the session. Now we can see the record of the whole session step by step. So we can see what David did uh, on this machine with all details. So we can adjust the uh, replay speed. It can be double, it can be half. You can jump to the next action, etc. So on the right side, we see the keywords and we can search through these keywords. So let's search for the keyword, let's say user. And we search for this keyword. And uh, when we click uh, on this line, we exactly jump to the point where this word is typed. So as you can see, we jumped exactly to this point. So we, we see the word user added uh, here. So this is useful to you know, uh, search for specific words, specific keywords, instead of watching the whole, watching the whole uh, session. So here the session ends and uh, Thomas uh, checked the session that David had on the WS10 machine. Uh, now he can mark this as reviewed or he just uh, can leave it as it is. And uh, so it was a brief demonstration of the password and session management solution.